Well, thank you for the presentation. I'm going to present the paper, The Importance of Cooperative Networks in the Internationalization of Wine SMEs. Uh, the increased process of globalization offers great opportunities. However, the challenge is not always easy for small wineries. In Spain, previous Luchacho has shown a very fragmented structure composed by a large number of small companies. So the scarcity of financial management and organization resource hindering the possibility of uh, living abroad. However, sports have more than double in recent decades and the number of wineries selling abroad has traveled. Thus, in Rioja case, producer by grouping around appellation the region and sport association permit overcome uh, size limitations. Given this context, the aim of the paper is to analyze the importance of sport cooperation by using a sample of small wineries. For this purpose, the presentation starts with some interesting facts uh, then talk about the relationship between performance and uh, networks and finally, I present a preliminary results and conclusions. Firstly, uh, I love, uh, I'd like to talk about the evolution of the Spanish uh, wine exports in the last decade. Uh, as can be seen in the following figure, uh, for the year 2000, there has a steady growth of exports and a large increase of the number of exporters. In fact, the number of exporters had tripled, growing uh, proportionally more than sports. Europe and the main economies uh, of the European Union continue being the main targets, markets, pass. However, as you can see in the recent years, they have lost their importance while gaining participation markets like uh, countries in North America or Asia. In these uh, more complex markets, it can be so seen how the increase of the number of exporters has really impressive. So it could be said that recently companies' uh, strategies have an important role to explain export performance in the Spanish wine industry. Uh, about the composition, the most remarkable figure is the big increase of bottled wine exports. Uh, since uh, 1995, bottled wine grow more than other products and grow more in volume terms than in volume terms, which imply increase of quality and middle price. As you can see in the Spanish composition, uh, the appellation of the origin bottles wine is the biggest product of the total sports. The existence of a network of social relationships about the territories creates an environment in which participants are proud to cooperate and also are elements to construct natural industrial wine clusters. The appellation of the origin are some of the local associations create a common identity that represents the local wine model quality controls, gain critical mass, improve communications, and help to contract brand. Now give me two minutes uh, to justify the relationship between uh, networks and sport performance. For small companies, crossing a border uh, involves paying high initial costs and competing in a more complex environment. Nevertheless, the limitations size can be compensated by managers by establishing collaborative networks. Networks cooperations helps companies to share knowledge about markets, facility product adaptation and finally could improve export performance. Also cooperation between organizations is especially useful for small wineries. It's helped them to control the impo and improve quality, product quality, take advantages of synergies and complementarity of resources. And finally, increase size. Pass, pass. One more, one more. Uh, data 
for the quantitative study were shows mainly for the Spanish business strategy survey. The paper analyzed the spoke performance of 30 small Spanish companies for the beverage sector from 2006 to 2012. Uh, the econometric strategy used is a Hedman model, so uh, two equations are estimated for that purpose. The first includes the determinants of sport propensity, and then the second consider the determinant sport intensity. Selection model describes company decision to sports as a result of a company individual characteristics and specific cost of entering in different markets. <laughs> the dependent variable is a dummy taking the value 1 if company exports to market J and zero other ways. The second state of the Heman model analyzes the determinant of the sport intensity. The possible selection bias has been corrected by, in this second state by introducing the inverse males, males uh, ratio. The dependent variable is the company's export value to four different regions. About the variables of the model, networks collaboration is a dummy that takes value one if company participate in a collaborative uh, action for commercial expansion such as sport uh, agreements, sector sport agreement or association approaches. The model also includes productivity, human resources, age of the company, product innovation sports, and also external demand, I'm sure, inspired by the gravity equation models. The, the first equation is estimated with a random effect probit regression and the results, as you can see, support the positive effect of the network's participation of the possibility of living abroad. Also, it showed that productivity, human resources and the growth of external demand are factors that increase export propensity. The second equation is estimated uh, with corrected standard Europe panel regression the results show a positive effect on networks also in this second stage. This implies that fair participate in collaborative networks explore more intensely. Also, it shows positive effect about productivity, human results and external demand. To summarize, this paper has studied the relationship between networks collaboration and company export performance for a uniform of small Spanish companies. And this study showed that the Spanish industry has a dynamic behavior despite a fragmented structure. The sport has been doubled in last decades and the number of exporters have trebled. The preliminary results, the very preliminary results of the empirical analysis suggest a positive network effect on sport propensity and sport intensity. Uh, to conclude my presentation, uh, in order to comp compensate the limitation of our sample, we propose some lines of research. Using microdata, we could analyze the effects of the network participation by considering more countries. It could be also interesting to analyze the effects of other types of collaboration, for instance, technological collaboration to improve products or improve process. And finally, we think that the result could be interesting for policymakers. It could be interesting to develop more support programs to increase uh, cooperation between granaries and also could promote uh, collaboration between companies and research centers or universities. Well, uh, thank you for listening.